Hey there, it's Tank Girl, and this is the Nexus S from Samsung and Google. Yes, it is. I have it right here, Nexus S. So, a quick look at the box, a uh, little logo uh, action here, and some fine print. Uh, down here is the label with the serial number, which I'm not going to show you. There's nothing on top, and Nexus S on the side, both sides. And so that's that. Now, let's open it up, shall we? Ta-da! Dun-dun-dun-dun! So this is the Nexus S, which, as we pretty much well know, is just a Galaxy S phone with some tweaks. Um, so here's uh, the stickers, front and back. And you can see the beautiful 5 megapixel camera, which is a flash in this case. And the cool curviness of it all right there. So let's go uh, through the box and see uh, what there is. And then I'll take the stickers off. Uh, maybe do some size comparisons with some phones. And then we'll put a SIM in it and turn it on. All right, here we go. So there's a little divider here. Nothing in it. And look at that, a SIM card from T-Mobile in case you're not already a customer. I don't need this since I am a customer. Whee! Then we have the health and safety and warranty guide for the GTI9020T, which is the proper name of the Samsung Nexus S. So there's a logo in the back, it's the Spanish version. Nothing really much here, the usual, blah, blah, blah. Let's move on. Terms and condition, return policy, limited warranty, T-Mobile. So that was the Samsung part before, this is the T-Mobile part. Two languages, same, blah, 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 blah. And here's the interesting part. So we've got a charger, standard US Samsung charger. So a little sticker here on top and the standard USB port on the side. Nothing new there. This is the same charger they supply with the other Galaxy S phones. Then we have a headset, as clearly indicated here. Uh, again, this is probably very similar to what, yes, it looks very much like the ones from the other Galaxy S phones. You can see the four prong 3.5 millimeter connector and the two little earbuds right there. And then we have a micro USB cable. Focus. There we go. Micro USB at one end, USB at the other. Samsung branded cable. You need this to charge and to transfer data. And then the battery. Looks like the exact same battery as the other Galaxy S phones. Go figure. So let's take off the. Uh, sticker thingy on this. As you can see, there's nothing else left in the box. So, let's have a look here. 1500 milliamp hour, woohoo! Same size, yeah, this is the same. I think this looks like the same battery. Maybe it's different, I don't remember. Anyway, so we'll need this in a second, and then we're going to need the a SIM card. And so first, I'm going to remove the stickers and give you a walk around the phone. Ta-da! One sticker gone. And then in the back, let's see. I see. It just goes from the top. Ta-da! So, let's start on the front. So, in the top here, you have a bunch of sensors, the earpiece, and the front-facing camera, which is just a VGA camera, I believe. Uh, come on. I'm trying to get a better view for you guys. I think this is a good view right there. Yeah. And the bottom, you can't really see them. Sorry, I hit the camera with the phone. Uh, I probably need something to focus on. You can't see them, but there's four capacitive buttons that are hmm, maybe visible here. I don't know. I see them, but I don't think the camera can see them. They're there. There's four of them. Trust me. Then you get the 
gorgeous super AMOLED 4 inch display which as I pointed out earlier is slightly concave curved this way and then on the left hand side you have the volume rocker and then nothing there's a little bit of a bump at the bottom and you get to the micro USB port microphone and headphone jack which is an odd placement at the bottom it's like an iPod touch I'm not sure I like that there is no dedicated camera key on the right hand side unfortunately but then is the power lock key which on all the Galaxy devices is on the right hand side like that and then on top there doesn't seem to be anything other than a little notch to put your finger to open the battery door in the back we have the Samsung logo some dust my reflection and the Google logo and you can see the little pattern here on the door and then here's the 5 megapixel autofocus camera with a single LED flash now this is the same camera as on the other Galaxy phones and Galaxy S phones it's a really good camera so for 5 megapixel don't, don't let that deter you this is probably a much better camera than any other HTC phone for example that have a 5 megapixel camera so let's now open the battery door ta-da and there's probably a serial number I'm going to try to cover it up so we have the SIM holder right here there's no micro USB uh, card slot in this phone most Galaxy S's have one um, this has um, a combination of a six normally the Galaxy S is a combination of 16 gigabyte and a micro SD card but this doesn't have the micro SD just the 16 gigabytes built in is what I was trying to say so there's the battery compartment and now you see these two contacts right there my theory is that the space that's here is where normally the micro uh, SD card slot lives and this is the contacts for the back panel and the back panel has a near an NFC so it's a near field um, I can't remember it's basically RFID NFC means RFID so there's an RFID reader uh, in the back here an antenna it's a coil in the back and that's one of the big cool things about the Nexus S so let me put a sim card in here and let me put the battery in here and let's rock oh look there's a little antenna connector for testing right there so I have a sim card it's a T-Mobile sim card this is a phone has a uh, support for T-Mobile AWS frequencies which is uh, also used in Canada by wind and mobility and of course it supports European and Asian 3G and then quad band edge to figure out where the battery contacts are I think it goes this way there we go so this is what it looks like with the Samsung logo upside down on the battery and I'm gonna put the cover on and we're gonna we're gonna turn this on in a second but first let's get rid of this box and do a size comparison with some other devices the first and most obvious device you want to compare it with is the predecessor the Nexus one so this is a Nexus S on the left and Nexus one on the right this is Google's phone from last year well early January last year this year so this is what it looks like as you can see the Nexus S is a little bit bigger and then the back you can see the HTC versus Samsung the Google Google the same very similar camera design but this is plastic where this is kind of rubberized and metal and there it seems that the galaxy the, sorry the galaxy s the nexus s doesn't look quite as big anymore and then of course there's going to be the the weirdness of the curved display when i do a size comparison in one second so there you can really clearly see the convex nature of the screen concave sorry concave and thickness wise there's a bit of bump at the bottom it's about the same thickness as the Nexus one let me put the I'll do this instead so you can get a, a different view so that's one phone now obviously the next one is 
the iPhone 4. So here's the iPhone 4. And as you can see, your Galaxy S, Nexus S is quite a bit larger. And that's to be expected since it's only a 3.5 inch screen on the iPhone. And then on the back, it looks like that. And then we have the usual concave screen thickness comparison here. As you can see, the, the iPhone is a pretty thin phone, so the Nexus S is actually not that thick, really. And then, uh, let's try this as well. You can see that bump's pretty significant at the bottom there. And then, uh, um, the last one I want to compare this to is the brother. The Galaxy S, well, almost the original Galaxy S. This is the T-Mobile Vibrant, which is the closest to the official Galaxy S that you can get in the US. So here you can see it clearly. Um, same size screen, very similar design. In the back you get the similar pattern design. The camera here, there's no flash on the Vibrant. Uh, but notice there's also that bump at the bottom on the, uh, on the Vibrant, the original Galaxy S. It's a little less pronounced than on the uh, Nexus S and then you can see here the thickness comparison very similar although it seems like the vibrant might be thinner and then let's do it the other way with the screens facing each other and you can see the concave again yeah so that's um, compared with the uh, original Galaxy S well the vibrant which is the closest to the original Galaxy S as we can get so now let's turn it on shall we Aha, it vibrated in my hand. Oh, look at that AMOLED. Of course, it's full of fingerprints now. And the same Nexus animation. And here are the capacitive buttons I mentioned, full of fingerprints. So here's the animation where it says, click on the little Android to get started. But um, you can see the buttons here, uh, back, menu, search and home and okay so this is crazy they're in a different order than on the nexus one look at that back menu is okay but search and home are backwards search and home search and home backwards weird anyway um top on the android Ooh, that's quick uh i'm gonna skip all this signing into google stuff because i don't want to do it in front of you yes to location services just so you know. Yep. And here we are. We're in. Uh, that, that, that screensaver never gets old. You just tap. and So here we are with the Nexus S. Fantastic. Look at the gorgeous, beautiful, fabulousness of this screen. It's just fantastic. And so here's the new bar, the new status bar, which is black. Um, and of course this is 3G since I've got a T-Mobile SIM in there. Uh, let's quickly do this. And uh, oh my god, it's smooth as butter, like literally. This is like way faster than anything else. Super, super smooth. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to quickly go to the web and browse to my website new multi-touch keyboard yay feels nice so here we go and this is my website tank girl mobile of course so let's see how quickly this loads of course this is the mobile version wow this is fast and move with 3g connection of course full sight yes Boom! And here we go with flash support, of course. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Silky smooth goodness. My god, this is the fastest Android phone I've ever used, and I've used almost all of them. Incredible. Let's see if I can play a video quickly. There we go, video. Aha! It wants me to accept the terms of service. Well, I guess it's a YouTube video, so it's just going to play it in the YouTube player. Or not. Interesting. I was hoping because it was flash content and this supports flash, it would just play it embedded. But I guess it didn't.
Let's see if it'll play in the YouTube player. It's buffering, I think. Hey there, it's Chain Girl. And this, and this is Meta. This is me unboxing the Droid Pro. Anyway, this is it, guys. I should wrap this up. But. This is the Nexus S, and uh, keep an eye on my blog for more. I'm Tank Girl, T N K G R L. My blog is Tank Girl Mogul, T N K G R L dot WordPress dot com, and you can find me on Twitter at T N K G R L. Cheers.